Welcome back to the channel. If this is your first time here, my name is Rita. I hope you are, are having a blessed and fantastic week. According to Town Hall, an, um, an organization called Run For Something, which is a super duper progressive organization. And by progressive, I mean um, they are part of the LGBTQIA dot 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 lobby. Um, they are pro all of the green hair, purple hobgoblin policies um, that you have come to expect. Um, they push these policies and not only do they push them and affirm them, they are trying to infiltrate the local elections, especially in conservative states. I have mentioned this before. Now, this article in Town Hall talks about how this organization run for something, how the co-founders call the project clerk work, um, a way down the ballot effort of the, of the type that Democratic donors and national groups have traditionally struggled to focus on. Election subversion in 2024 is not going to be a mob storming the Capitol. It's going to be a county clerk. This is according, according to Politico in Michigan or a supervisor of elections in Florida who decides to F the whole thing up. Littman said, and a Littman is one of the co-founders of this run for something. Now this run for something organization started back in 2017. Their strategic plan is to install young people, to recruit young people, to train them. They even have training sessions. I will link their website below so you can take a look at all of the goings on honey. And they are proud of their list of Uber progressives that they have installed um, in or helped get elected, I'll say, into office, into like city, into city council. Um, there is even one where I live. But yes, um, they have helped get people installed into city council. They are trying to install judges. The same sort of thing that is happening with our DAs across the country. Well, now this organization, I'm sure there are plenty of other organizations are trying to infiltrate the local elections, school boards, et cetera. And they have already done that. They are proud of the work they have done. If you go on their website, you will see a nice lengthy list of all 50 states and the list will include all of the people who they have um, people who they've helped um, get elected in these different states they are targeting small college towns as well so be on the lookout for that they are college um, they are heavily targeting college towns and their strategy is to um, they feel like Republicans have been doing this and so their strategy is to start at the bottom, to start at the local level and to work their way up nationally. If they do it this way, they figure, of course, they can take over the entire country. So far, they have installed a lot of people in a lot of states, conservative states included. Now, I'm going to say this. I know I used to be that person. I know that a lot of people focus on federal elections. A lot of people don't see the importance or I think the local elections um, are just not on people's radar. I think people don't think it makes a difference, but oh my goodness, if we haven't seen anything else in the past few years, we have seen how important local elections are to a city. When cities start talking about defunding police and all sorts of other sorts of weird things, we can see how important the mayor races are, the city council um, races. If you're in Illinois, if, if you're in Illinois, um, the aldermen races um, for the wards. All of these things are so so important because, as you can see, once they get in locally and they start making. Um, policies and making decisions about your streets because that's how local elections work about your neighborhood um, then you will really feel the burn of having these people serving on city council as your mayor etc I used to be one of those people who kind of just actually back in the day like I think even when I turned 18 I didn't even vote okay because it just wasn't even a thing but and when I did I've only voted in the federal elections. 
you know, I only voted for the president and, and that election and that was it. But let me tell you these local elections, and I know a lot of people don't, I live in a pretty conservative, well, I was gonna say pretty conservative area, but not really. Um, it, it's kind of 50-50 and probably doesn't have to be because this last election, a lot of people sat out. Like I looked at the data of registered voters um, versus unregistered voters, those who, you know, um, are consider themselves conservative or whatever. And let me tell you, a lot of people did not come out to the local election. And that's how we got um, one of these progressive, super, super blue haired people on our city council because people did not come out to the local elections. So this is a gentle reminder. You ever get those emails? Gentle reminder. This is a gentle reminder to come out to your local elections because organizations like run for something um, are pouring money into local elections. All right. This is a short one today. That's all I had to say. I hope you guys have a fantastic weekend. Until next time. Ciao.